Here for Unit 5, we see that we have specifically the test for Chapters 4 and 5. I do encourage review that's found in the textbook, pages 228 to 231. It is a before a test check. The answers are provided for you. So that review is done through the textbook. There, it's not in Cengage now. Uh, so in Cengage Now is that test covering chapters 4 and 5. For here with our resource extras, I will be adding a variety of videos for those exercises where there were uh, common mistakes. If you have mistakes that I don't cover and you would like me to address those, please let me know. I'll be getting these videos uh, completed at ASAP. Uh, meaning I hope that by the time I leave campus late tonight, which is Wednesday, that those are added within there. Uh, the link into Cengage Now, I did label that as for the test for chapters four and five. I recognize that this afternoon, which is Wednesday, I have online office hours. Uh, it shows here for the Mortuary Science Group, which is Wednesday from 315 to 345. For the other section, your online office hours are 2.30 to 3 o'clock. You are encouraged to bring questions or problems with you. If you need to communicate with me, if you have questions or problems, you're welcome to use the messages here in Blackboard. I do have an administrative thread for the discussion board. I will be watching that. Uh, those would be for communication outside of specific questions that you have for what's going on for the week. So if I were to click on this, then we have our Cengage open. After logging in, uh, you will see classes that are available to you and I'm just going to pick one of the two sections that I have here for summer and go to the assignments. And as we see here, the test is at the bottom of the list. Once you click on this take, you have 120 minutes and only one shot at that. So make sure that once you have entered the test, you've set aside that 120 minutes to take. There is a lot of emphasis on the test for that worksheet because we had the worksheet in both chapters four and or chapter five. Even though it's a resource, it consolidates the theory related to our financial statements as impacted by our adjusting entries. Once those financial statements are prepared, then we did the closing entries. So we have our post-closing trial balance as a result. Now there's lots of theory in there. If you've done your homework and you've gotten full points on your homework, you should be good for taking the test as long as you understand that information that uh, even checking your work is acceptable but make sure that if you checked checked your work 50 times that you understand the concept and that you would be able to apply that theory without having that check so uh, and that's what we have here for this week just as a reminder I will be adding the videos within our uh, folder for the unit in Blackboard. And a reminder that once you click on this take, you have 120 minutes to complete it. And if for some reason you have a difficulty in the midst, uh, Cengage does something funky to you, you are advised by Cengage to contact their Cengage support ASAP so that they can begin working on your case. I do also ask that you communicate with me after you've contacted that Cengage tech support. So if you have questions or problems this week, you are encouraged to let me know. Be watching this resource extras for some videos that I'll be adding, and I'm working on those as fast as I can. So have a great week, and communicate as needed.